It's the Roy Rogers Show. Happy trails to you. It's nice to meet again. Happy trails to you. Until the journey's end. Most Great Nuts Flakes, the great two-minute energy cereal, brings you the Roy Rogers Show, transcribed on the Double R Bar Ranch, with Pat Brady and the Queen of the West, Dale Levin. Happy trails to you. Time to ride again. And here he is, in person, the king of the cowboys, Roy Rogers. Well, howdy, folks. You know, being a cowboy, you need lots of energy. That's why Grape Nuts Flakes is the cereal I like for strength and energy. Just two minutes after you eat a big bowl full, that whole wheat energy starts going to work for you. Try Grape Nuts Flakes buckaroos. They're great. And now our story for tonight is about Indians. On the far slopes of Paradise Valley lies the Indian Reservation. Here dwells a small band of red men, descendants of the great Chiricahua Apaches, with a deep pride in maintaining the customs and modes of their forefathers. It is night, and two shadowy figures creep toward the wickiup of the young chief, Kochara. Get in there fast and grab him. No one's around. You sure Kochara's gone? The message I sent's bound to get him away from the reservation. All right. Now where will I find him? Hanging on the wall of the wickiup. And hurry. You're mighty slow learning the ways of these Indians. And the next morning in the sheriff's office in Mineral City, Roy Rogers and Dale Evans hear damaging evidence against one of their most trusted friends. Roy and Dale, I'm sorry, but if Cochero won't say anything in his own defense, I have to keep him locked up. I understand, Sheriff. Cochero, my friend, you've told us that you were in the Oak Glades this morning. Now, I know you weren't there to shoot deer. Cochera did not go there to kill deer, Nantan Rogers. The arrows that killed the deer were your arrows, Cochera. You don't deny that, do you? Cochera does not deny that, Mr. Mills. You better not lie, you know. Mr. Mills, you're an Indian agent, and you ought to know that the Apaches do not lie. That's right, Mr. Mills. Cochera always tells the truth like his forefathers did. Look, Rogers, I'm trying to protect him. But if Cochera and his tribe are going to kill deer out of season, both on the reservation and in the Oak Glades Game Preserve, I've got to report it. My men have found dozens of dead deer in the last couple of weeks. The government has given these Apaches one of the finest reservations in the West. If they can't live up to the rules, they'll have to move on. Sheriff, you and I have both known Cochera for years. And I want you to release him into my custody. At least until Mr. Mills' report reaches Washington. Well... I don't see anything wrong with that, Sheriff. The evidence is entirely circumstantial. I don't know, Sheriff. Wait a minute, Mills. If Roy will be responsible for Kachara, I'm going to let him go for now. I appreciate that, Sheriff. I want a day or so to look into this deer-killing situation. Come along, Dale, Kachara. You're sticking your neck out, Rogers. I know these Indians pretty well. In a lot of ways, you don't seem to, Mr. Mills. The Sheriff, you know where you can find me. Sure, Roy, but remember, my duty comes first. Well, of course it does, Sheriff. And duty and justice go hand in hand, too. Say, Cochera, there was something you didn't want to tell the Sheriff and Mills. Yes, Cochera. There's a story behind the deer that were killed by your arrows. What is it? It is not important. Cochera thinks only of the trouble of his friend, Nantan Rogers. My troubles? What? Why did you send for me last night, my friend? Why did you ask me to meet you in the Oak Glades? Send for you? What are you talking about? Your message was delivered by one of the children of my tribe. I waited for you in the glades until the stars faded. Then I set out to find you. As I passed through Mineral City on my way to your ranch, the sheriff's men arrested me. You got a message which was supposed to come from Roy? Well, Chara, why didn't you tell the sheriff and Mr. Mills this story? Nantan Rogers is my friend. My tongue is silent until I know he wishes me to speak. Cochera, you're a real friend. But someone is out to get something. The message was not sent by you? You bet it wasn't. Roy, what's behind this? Well, I don't know. I'm going to find out. Kachara, I want you to go back to the reservation and see that everything's all right there. Pat Brady and I are going to head for the Oak Glades. (laughs) 
Roy, this is a heck of a distance to come on horseback. My saddle ain't near as comfortable as Nellie Bell's seat. Anytime Nellie Bell's as useful as a horse in thick woods like this, I'll personally buy her a set of chromium-plated tires. And Trigger will put them on, won't you, Trigger boy? <laughs> uh, you know, as long as I got to ride a horse, I'd prefer a foam rubber saddle. Urgh, it's nippy out here, ain't it? Getting fall, Pat. Roy, I know Kachera's a friend of yours, but I never could get with them Indians. Why, they hardly ever talk. That's one thing I like about them. <laughs> hey there, Bullet. What are you up to? Hey, he's found something interesting in that little clearing. That's right. We better take a look at it. Well, maybe Bullet knows what we're looking for, but I sure don't. Oh, whoa there, Trigger. Bullet, from the looks of that grass, this is where the sheriff's man found the deer Kutcher was supposed to have shot. Yeah, the grass is matted down like something was lying here. I suppose Indians just can't resist shooting deer, in season or out. I'd stake the ranch that Kutcher didn't shoot those deer, Pat, because he says he didn't. Hey... Look at this tree. What do you suppose nicked the bark like this? Why, the doggone tree looks like a bullet skinned it. The cut's pretty fresh, too. Yeah. I'm going to dig into the trunk. Hmm. A rifle bullet embedded in here. So it's a rifle bullet. Why are you digging it out of the tree? I want to keep it and find the gun it was fired from. <laughs> hey, the engines are shooting arrows at us. Hit the dirt, Pat. Quick. It's an arrow, all right. Hit the pommel of my saddle. Hey, my hat! Roy, that arrow lifted my hat right off my head. Well, grab it and get behind this log. Down, bullet. Trigger, Buster, get back. Hey, this is an Apache arrow, Pat. In fact, it's Cochero's arrow. What'd I tell you? You can't trust an engine. Here you are trying to help Cochero, and he's trying to wing you with an arrow. I don't think Cochero's shooting. But we'll soon find out. Hold your hat above that log. Okay, I'll do it. Well, not on your head. Hold it up on the tip of your gun. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, miss, Whew. I might just as well have had my head in it. <laughs> Kuchera wouldn't miss like that, Pat. Try it again. Okay. I don't see what for, but... Oh, hey, he came closer that time. Let's see. That's four arrows. Hold your hat up once more. Roy, what are you trying to prove? This is my brand new cowboy straw hat. Well, go ahead. Hold it up. Wow. Roy, he practically re-blocked it that time. Okay, now. Hey, stay where you are, Pat. Uh, uh, where are you going? Just crawling over so this big tree's behind me. This time, I'll risk my hat. Hey, Roy, a hole right through your lid. And a rifle bullet in the tree. Open fire in that direction, Pat. Keep shooting. I need cover while I dig this bullet out. Well, I'm glad we're fighting back anyway. Keep shooting, Pat. I'm getting the bullet. Roy? Hey, Roy, listen to that. You hear hoofs? Yeah, I do. I'll have this bullet out in a second. There. Well, hey, whoever it was, he's sure getting out of here in a hurry. Well, let's go after him. Now, that can wait, Pat. I want you to ride back to town and get a look at those deer and find out for sure whether they were killed with arrows or rifle bullets. What are you going to do? I'm heading for the Indian village. I want to talk to Kachera some more because I know he wasn't shooting at us just now. How do you know that? When I saw Kachera in town, his arrow quiver was full. Roy, I don't get this at all. Kachera always carries seven arrows in a quiver. No more, no less. And our friend may have used two arrows on the deer this morning because he changed to a rifle after trying five on us. How about them? How about them? How about those grape nuts? How about those grape nuts? How about them? How about them? How about those grape nuts? They are so good, good for you, too. The two-minute energy works for you. So how about them? How about them? How about Grape Nuts Flakes? Yep, how about those Grape Nuts Flakes? Take an old hands advice, partners. Tomorrow, when you roll out of your bunk, corral a bowl full of that great energy-given cereal, Grape Nuts Flakes. Grape Nuts Flakes are called the great two-minute energy cereal because two minutes after you polish off a bowl full... Their powerhouse whole wheat energy starts to go to work for you. That's the kind of quick energy you fellers and gals need. You'll go for Grape Nuts Flakes sugar roasted flavor. It's delicious. So ask Mom to get you Grape Nuts Flakes, the two minute energy cereal. Look for Roy's picture on the front of the package. <laughs> The Indian tribe, led by Roy's friend, Kochara, 
is in danger of losing its beautiful Paradise Valley Reservation when evidence seems to show that they're killing deer in the adjoining game preserve. While investigating, Roy and Pat are attacked by an unseen marksman with a bow and arrow. And when the sniper switches to a rifle, Roy sends Pat back to Mineral City for further investigation, while he and Trigger and Bullet go to the Indian village. Cochara found that quiver of arrows had been taken from his wiki of Nantan Rogers. He started again for Mineral City to tell you. How long ago did he leave, Natanka? As the sun reached top of the heavens. Tell me, Natanka, have any strangers been in your village lately? One came to us at Moon's first crescent. He was good man, for Mr. Mills brought him. Oh? oh what was his name? Nantan Mills called him Edwards. He was white hunter, inquiring the ways of Apache hunters. You mean he was trying to find out about using a bow and arrow? He carried bow, but it was heavy, clumsy thing. He would not accept bow Kochara offered him as gift. Hmm. Well, I haven't run into anyone named Edwards around Mineral City. Edwards carried strange black box. He held it near rocks. He carried it through fields. Sometimes... Strange black box made ticking noise. A strange black box that made a ticking noise. Natanka, I'm riding to Normalsville to get a box like Edwards must have carried. If it's what I think it is, we'll know why someone wants to get you off of this reservation. There you are, sir. Hope the steak's done the way you like it. Oh, this looks splendid. Never expected to find such appetizing cooking in a little town like this. Well, I'll be running along, Miss Evans. I'm glad to have met you, Mr. Edwards. It's mutual, I'm sure, Mr. Mills. This chance meeting may turn out to be a real stroke of luck for me. Oh, fine, Edwards. You're welcome to bid on the reservation property whenever the Indians are removed from it. Mr. Mills, do you really think the government will take the reservation away from Kuchara's tribe? I'm afraid so, Miss Evans. Kochar and his people just won't seem to obey the rules. And I had to recommend that they be disciplined by moving them. Well, I don't believe that Kochara killed those deer, and neither does Roy Rogers. I know you're friends of Kochara's, but I've been the agent here for a long time. And all the evidence is against the Indians. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Edwards. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Mills. Hmm. An unusual situation. An unusual situation indeed. Well, I wouldn't get my hopes up about buying the reservation, Mr. Edwards. Well, I'm putting in a bid at any rate. It's just the sort of property I want. You see, I'm a sportsman, Miss Evans. I've made a career of big game hunting. Hmm. I suppose you've hunted all over the world. (laughs) Oh, I should say so. Tigers, elephants, lions, elk. Say, have you ever tried hunting with a bow and an arrow like the Indians do? No, that's something I haven't tried. A gun's quicker, you know. Yes, I suppose it is. Uh, Dale, Dale, where's Roy? Why isn't he with you? No, he sent me on an errand about noon. He went on to the Indian reservation. Gosh, he ought to be back by now. It's four o'clock. Yeah, almost time for you to go to work. Why don't you put on an apron and finish waiting on Mr. Edwards here while I get things ready for the supper rush? Oh, oh, sure, Dale, sure. Uh, Anything I can do for you, sir? No, I'm getting along fine, thanks. Mr. Edwards here is a big game hunter, Pat. He hopes to settle down around here. Well, that's fine. (laughs) Dale, wait till Roy hears what I got to tell him. Cochero's arrows were in the deer all right, but that isn't what killed them. What? No, sir, Ree Bobtail. Them deer had been shot by a rifle, and the arrows were put in later. Pat, does the sheriff know about this? No, he wasn't around. (laughs) This sounds like quite a fantastic story. Miss Evans, friend Pat, where is Nantan Rogers? Why, Cochera, didn't you see Roy at the reservation? Gosh, Cochera, he went there looking for you about noon. When I returned, I found a quiver of arrows had been taken from my wikia. I started back at once to tell Nantan Rogers. Oh, Mr. Edwards, it is nice to see you again. Oh, yes. Uh, hello, Cochera. What? You two know each other? Yes. Uh, yes, I've seen Cochera before. Mr. Edwards honored my tribe with a visit some weeks ago. The Indian bow which you would not accept as a gift. It is still yours, Mr. Edwards, if you wish it. Bow? What are you talking about? Mr. Edwards is an archer, but his bow was clumsy thing, fashioned in white man's factory. Mr. Edwards, I thought you told me you'd never shot a bow and an arrow. I haven't. 
The Indian's mistaken. Oh, well, golly, that thing's sticking out of your jacket pocket. Ain't that one of them leather wrist guards archers use? All right. I'm a real expert with this rifle. Now, hands up, all of you, and into the back room. Hey, wait. Come on, come on. I'm not fooling. Mr. Edwards, you stole Cachero's arrows, and you shot those deer. Yeah, and you're probably the muzzler that was slinging arrows at Roy and me this morning. Maybe I was. Well, nothing's going to keep me from getting that reservation. Well, you ain't going to get it. Uh, I don't know what your game is. Quiet. Be calm, friend Pat. I have just told Nantan Mills of the stolen arrows. He will protect my people. You might as well put that gun down and give up, Mr. Edwards, because here comes Mr. Mills now, and he's a government agent. Don't move, anyone. What's going on here? Hey, this fellow with a gun uh, gun on us is, is plotting to steal a reservation, Mr. Mills. Yes, and we've got all the evidence. Put him under arrest, and we'll tell you the whole story. Back up a couple of steps, Edwards. You're too close to cover these meddlers properly. Mr. Hey, Mills! We'll have to get rid of him, Mills. I told you you'd get in trouble showing your face in town, Edwards. All right, I made a mistake. But we've got to work fast now. Yeah, and I know the perfect way. Kochara kills these two with his bow and arrow. In the struggle, they shoot and kill him. Load him in the jeep outside, Edwards. Take him to the reservation. That won't work, Mills. Roy Rogers is at the reservation right now. All right, Edwards. Make Brady drive you to the top of Secret Mountain. That's on the reservation. Roger sure isn't going to see anything that happens up there. Secret Mountain? That is not on the path Nantan Rogers would take back to Mineral City. Now, get moving, Edwards. And if any of them give you any trouble, shoot them. I have a sealed bid on the reservation in your name. As soon as I see that it's filed legally, I'll join you and we'll take care of the troublemakers. Indian, here's a match. Now get that fire going. Ugh, it's cold. Yeah, you should squawk, Edwards. You can at least move around. You got me and Dale tied hand and foot. Yes, you're a brave man, all right. After the Indian gets the fire going, I'll tie him up again. No funny business now, Indian. Kochala gave his word he would not escape. The fire will make Miss Evans more comfortable. Sure. Might as well be comfortable. You're not going to last long. Uh. I see Mills' horse starting up the trail now. Well, he better hurry up because it'll be dark in about 15 minutes. And the way you handle a bow and arrow, you'll have enough trouble shooting us in the daylight. Never mind, Brady. At the range I'm going to use, I can't miss. <coughs> Confound you, Indian! Can't you build a fire that doesn't smoke? With the proper wood, <coughs> the fire would not smoke. You think I'm going to move to the other side so I can't watch the three of you? You're very much mistaken. <coughs> Well, all right, put up with the smoke, then. We're not complaining. <coughs> no, we're not <coughs> much, anyway. Take your jacket off, Indian. Stand over here and fan that smoke away from me. Kochara will do it. A little farther away from me. I'm under your tricks. You're not going to toss that jacket over my head. Nellie Bell had to pick today not to run out of gas. Take a last look at the Jeep, cowboy, because in another few minutes, you and the lady and the Indian will never see anything again. It's just as I thought, Natonka. This black box is called a Geiger counter. It tells me why someone's so anxious to get your tribe off this reservation. There's uranium ore here, heavy deposits of it. Uranium ore that white man uses for atom bomb? Right. I'm riding for town, Natonka. When Kachera comes back, tell him not to worry. Let's go, Trigger. Come on, Bullet. And then turn Rogers, wait. Does Natonka see smoke at top of Secret Mountain? That's smoke, all right. Someone's trying to signal. Uh, hey, doesn't that mean send help? Smoke says, send help silently and quickly. It is Kochara's signal, Lantern Rogers. Natonka, I want to borrow your bow and a quiver of arrows. Trigger can get me there quickly, and Bullet and I can be pretty quiet when we have to. Time for another Roy Rogers reminder. Always play fair. Yes, buckaroos, that's Roy's reminder for today. To be a good, upstanding citizen, you have to abide by the rules in everything you do, in your home, in school, or on the playground. It's a fact when you play fair, you can't go wrong. Be fair to yourself, too. Keep yourself healthy and strong. 
and talking about that. One of the best ways to do it is to eat plenty of good nourishing food like grape nuts flakes. The cereal Roy likes best for building up strength and energy. Yes, kids, Roy eats grape nuts flakes for energy. His picture's on every package. Roy likes those well-tasting grape nuts flakes because their whole wheat energy starts going to work for you just two minutes after you eat a big, multi-rich bowlful. That's energy you need for most everything you do during the day. And you like sugar-roasted grape nuts flakes. They have a flavor that's multi-rich, makes them mighty good to eat. So if you want to be king of the cowboys in your corral, ask your mom to get you Grape Nuts Flakes, the great two-minute energy cereal. Grape Nuts Flakes is one of the triple wrap post cereals, guaranteed fresh or triple your money back. Cochera spoke signals reached Roy from the top of Secret Mountain. But Len Mills, renegade Indian agent who has plotted with Roland Edwards to steal the reservation, arrives to silence forever the only tongues that know of his perfidy. Well, come on, Edwards. Let's get this thing over with. Don't untie Brady and the girl till later, Mills. This way they can't wiggle, and I'll be sure to get them with one arrow apiece. I must say you're a poor excuse for a big game, Hunter. <laughs> Maybe, but I'm a good uranium prospector. Uranium? What? Sure. The reservation is loaded with uranium-bearing ore. Edwards, get Cochara's bone arrows ready. I'll handle a gun. What, my rifle? No, no, I'll use Brady's gun. Come on, let's go. There is no hope now, my friends. I am sorry. I'm sorry, too, Cochera. Goodbye, Dale. I'm sorry I was late for work so often. Say, his bow handle's fine. I'll count to three and we'll fire. One. Oh! Edwards, what's the matter? Uh, something got me. My wrist. An arrow. Oh, my hand! Edwards, it's the Indians. No, it's not the Indians, Mills. Bullet, take that big guy. Hey, get that dog off me! Mills, I don't know your part in this, but anyone who's ready to fire on three helpless people has a thrashing coat. He sure has, Roy. Get him. Rogers, no, don't. You're making a mistake. I don't think I am. Not half as big a mistake as you made. Now, off the other one, Bullet. I want to crack at him, too. Hey, that's Edwards, the guy who shot the deer, Roy. Yeah, he was in with Mills to steal the reservation. There's uranium there, Roy. I know it. Get on your feet. Uh. I don't know how much you know about uranium, but you're going to think a bomb has hit you. Hey, let me go! Cochera asks a favor. Let me land the bomb on Edwards. Cochera, if anyone has a right to, you have. Go ahead, take him. That's right, Cochera. He's got it coming. There. Say, Pat, I got a hunch the bullets I dug out of the trees this morning are going to match the bullets in Edwards' rifle. Right, and they're going to match the ones in the deer that Cochera was supposed to have shot. Roy, how'd you find us here? Why, Cochera sent smoke signals. Uh, Cochera? You mean when you was fanning the smoke away from Edwards, you were signaling? I hoped the signals would be seen, and they were. One more thing, Roy. Why in the world did you use arrows to stop those men from shooting us? I had to shoot twice from two different angles, Dale, and a gun might have given away my position between shots. Well, we better load Mills and Edwards on the Jeep and take them back to the sheriff. He'll be mighty happy to see them. Yeah, Nellie Bell will enjoy the trip down a lot more than she did the trip up. I can tell you that. Hey, hey, Roy. What's the matter, Pat? Well, look at her. Your arrow glanced off a of Mill's gun and knocked a chip of paint right out of Nellie Bell's fender. <laughs> Why, poor old Nellie Bell. <laughs> That's all for now, folks. This is Roy Rogers saying to all of you from all of us, goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. See you next week. Happy trails to you Until we meet again mm -hmm. The Roy Rogers Show was brought to you tonight by Post Grape Nuts Flakes, the great two-minute energy cereal. Grape Nuts Flakes is the cereal Roy likes best for strength and energy. Look for the picture of Roy and Trigger on the front of the package. The Roy Rogers Show can be heard again next week at this same time with Pat Brady, Dale Evans, and the king of the cowboys himself, Roy Rogers. An Art Brush production written and directed by Fran Van Hardisfeld with music by Milton Charles. Remember what Roy Rogers says... Post Sugar Crisp is the cereal treat that's fun to eat. 
Roy's right, fellas and gals. As a cereal, it's dandy, with milk or cream. For snacks, it's so handy, or you can eat it like candy right out of the box. Poe Sugar Crisp is excitingly new, deliciously different. Nourishing puffed wheat, candy coated with honey and sugar. Ask Mom to get Poe Sugar Crisp in the big red, white, and blue box with the three bears on the front tomorrow. Featured in today's cast were Frank Hemingway, Herb Butterfield, Charles Seal, Ken Peters, and Frank Gerstel. This is Art Ballinger speaking for Post Grape Nuts Flakes. Stay tuned for the latest news brought to you by Log Cabin Syrup. <laughs> 